he took my screen test and they said amazing you're going to be mahmood kaun re tera boss ne fraud farid ki karke wo sare fraud nahi uno honorary council aur wo to apne khud ke gali ka councilor banya nahi kaun se ki muluk ka councilor banta hone i came to that place you know the dull gate part when i could see a couple of houseboats i was thinking those people staying in those houseboats you know the boat people how would be their day to day lives a mm. general hai wo khana sunta rehta hai सुनता है उसमें एक सीन में जस्ट स्मेलिंग द फूड तो उधर खड़ा एक आदमी बोलते हैं इन्हें आदमी का बच्चा की कुत्ते का बच्चा करके इन आदमी की इंसान की कुत्ता की नहीं होती है वहाँ पे रिसेप्शनिस्ट को देख के वो सीधा शाहरुख खान बन जाता है अच्छा और उधर सिमरन कहता है वो भी क्यों होता है हम नॉट सिमरन बोलते हैं मैं नहीं मिस नॉट सिमरन बोलते तो नो आई नो दो नंबर लाइक यू नो आई थिंक एक्ट जू त्रे त्रे त्रेर Like this, Nazneen yar maine ki jo mulaqat. Umr, pentalis, wasn't a si. Tat, kuch saare panch. Ek pa, ek shahar. महमूद बोल रहा हूँ हैप्पी टूर्स ट्रैवल से भाई सर महमूद रिजवी कॉलिंग फ्रॉम हैप्पी टूर्स एंड ट्रैवल सर जी महमूद रिजवी बात कर रहा हूँ हैप्पी टूर्स एंड ट्रैवल से अंग्रेजी नहीं आती नाजरीन आदाब आज हमारे स्टूडियो में एक ऐसी शख्सियत है जो एक फिल्म मेकर है एक राइटर है और एक एक्टर भी है इन्होंने रिसेंटली एक फिल्म में एक्ट किया जिसका नाम मैं महमूद है आज हम इनके साथ रूबरू होते हैं और उज़ैर अब्दुल अलीम की कहानी जानते हैं और इनके प्रोजेक्ट्स के बारे में हम जानते हैं उज़ैर साहब आपका बहुत बहुत खैर मकदम है आपके दोस्त आपको ओजी कहते हैं जी बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया आप कश्मीर में आए और हम मुझे लगता है कि उसी से स्टार्ट करेंगे आप कश्मीर का दौरा कब से स्टार्ट हुआ और कैसा रहा अभी तक कश्मीर ये मेरा तीसरा विजिट है कश्मीर में थर्ड विजिट तो पहली बार जब आया था मैं तब मैं हमारे दोस्त हैं शाहिद भाई सजाद भाई उन्होंने बुलाया मुझे कि कश्मीर आओ जरा देखो क्या हो रहा है यहाँ पे थोड़ा कुछ इफ आई कुड राइट समथिंग वो ही आया था लेकिन तब जब फर्स्ट टाइम आया था तो मैं वो कुछ चंद दिनों के लिए था तो फिर सेकेंड टाइम आया तो मैं एक महीना था और मुझे बहुत आई फेल इन लव दिस प्लेस आई मैन लाइक इट्स नो जोक दिस दिस इज पैराडाइज ऑन अर्थ and uh, absolutely uh, i i really think so too mm-hmm. yeah so abhi meri third time hai uh, the third time i've come here with my siblings as a vacation but uh, at the same time i feel that you know there is no much content coming from kashmir so i thought why not uh, try make something over here some you know come up with some good solid script mm-hmm. maybe collaborate with some local uh, writers or filmmakers because uh, you know uh, ye meri ye teesra time hai kashmir mein so i feel uh, you know i owe it to this place at least that i you know something i should do some work mm-hmm. which is related to kashmir bahut hi acha ek initiative and uh, i think the most amazing thing that you recently did was mm-hmm. mai mahmood yeah thank you and uh, उसमें आई गोट अ चांस टू वॉच दैट फिल्म एंड मुझे लगता है कि फिल्म में बहुत सारे अपने टेक्निकल एस्पेक्ट्स होते हैं स्टोरी वाइज भी प्री प्रोडक्शन पोस्ट प्रोडक्शन आई थिंक दिस फिल्म इज रिमार्केबल एंड इट हैज़ ऑलरेडी वन फ्यू अवार्ड्स आल्सो उस फिल्म के बारे में मैं महमूद वो फिल्म बेसिकली है क्या वट इज़ द स्टोरी जस्ट टू यू नो मेरे टू आवर द स्टोरी बिहाइंड मैं महमूद इज दैट 
ऐसा हुआ था कि आई वॉज वर्किंग ऑन दखनी कॉमेडी सीरीज दैट इज जस्ट बिफोर द कोविड टाइम एंड अनफॉर्चुनेटली वो कोविड हो गया और नो थिंग्स जस्ट जस्ट स्टॉप I could not continue that. Mm-hmm. And in that time period I came across this filmmaker called Pratyek Saha mm-hmm. who had already made uh, uh, many short films and music videos an amazing director music filmmaker. So we thought that we should do something together. And then after that I I just happened to go back to Dubai and then one day Pratyek comes to Dubai says I'm in town. Mm-hmm. Then we meet up for coffee and we talk and he said yaar Let's do something here. Mm-hmm. कुछ करते हैं, एक शॉर्ट फिल्म बनाते हैं. So Pratyek went back said, okay, why not? It's a good idea. I didn't know he was take it really seriously. And the next day he calls me and said, I've got this fantastic idea mm-hmm. about a man who can't speak English and you know struggling in Dubai as an immigrant. And he tells me that you're gonna act in that. I said, me? No. He said, yeah, come on. you know you been in dubai you know the immigrants you know how things happen over here i said cool it said but i need to take a screen test i said yeah sure and actually the thing was that we we had to he was there for a very limited time mm-hmm. and uh, then he took my screen test and they said amazing you're going to be mahmood not mm-hmm. mahmood there was no character name as uh, at that time mm-hmm. and then uh, i just uh, you know Pratyek's story was so amazing, and uh, his filmmaking. I didn't feel like you know I am in front of the camera. I just mm-hmm. felt that you know I was being myself. He made me feel like that, and uh, it was mostly my experiences which I met uh, with the immigrants over there, the taxi drivers who are from Pakistan, okay. from Bangladesh, you know, from mm-hmm. India. So uh, and I'm not just them, and you know I used to you know Dubai back in the days in uh, 90s, mm-hmm. you had the sharing taxis. Yeah. So we had to share the taxis and go to save money. So uh, there would be so many people inside. So would come across them, see their body language. Like, I mean, mm-hmm. learn learn their stories also. Exactly, and uh, even those ferries, you know, those uh, we call them abras, mm-hmm. going from one part of Dubai to the other part, mm-hmm. and. Uh, they came across so many people some of the many of them wouldn't know english also and today it's become like this that english is english language it's taken uh, ke wo koi aapka you know qualification hai ab ab zara sir ek zuban hai bas ek bhasha ek zuban ek language hai kai hazaron zubanon mein wohi to main mahmood bilkul wohi baat main mahmood bhi kehne ki koshish karti hu khud aur uh, film did really well uh, in, in in some festivals yes so Are there any are there any plans that you are going to make any other uh, films based in Kashmir? Yeah, Kashmir, of course. Uh, uh, see, right now I'm too it's too primary, I mean, too premature for me to say anything about making a film in Kashmir. Mm-hmm. Uh, but of course, I want to do it. But I need that kind of a script. Like I was saying that I came down here for a vacation. As I was coming with my siblings, my brothers and sisters. Mm-hmm. So as we were coming uh, from the airport. to uh, the hotel i i came to that place you know the dull gate part when i could see a couple of house boats i was thinking those people staying in those house boats you know the boat people how would be their day to day lives mm. you know and uh, in kashmir i if i make a film on kashmir which i will inshallah but i wouldn't want to make a film on militancy or on you know of this this is all done they've done and now today there's nothing like that mm. the very peaceful atmosphere and you know people day to day people they're just like anybody who is uh, anywhere in the world like you know it's like anybody in bangalore everybody is trying their the youth you know they have their set of problems mm-hmm. they have their uh, fun fun times you know the the elder people they have their fun times and they yes. have their set of problems so why not make a film on that so i was thinking more on something which would be a dark humor mm-hmm. and uh, maybe centered around the youth mm-hmm. okay and uh, and we it would be something i don't know it should be something which is not uh, the same old stuff on stuff you know yeah something new so i would love to collaborate with someone here in kashmir okay someone has some good script we could sit and we could you know uh, work on it inshallah the sky is the limit so do you think uh, you know places like you know kashmir uh, which have uh, stories in abundance 
needs a good storyteller you know uh, that too in films mm-hmm. uh, i think kashmir by large by you know large has it has it has lacked that cinema part uh, it has had a very good you know equation with bollywood but bollywood also sh- you know uh, treated it with, with some kind of bias you know maybe they also uh, they had also had some prejudice and uh, that time is over and now filmmakers who are very ind- independent they go with some different uh, perspective with some different treatment do you think uh, uh, the current storytellers are very important for uh, to tell the kashmir story i think so see i i i would not say that would be uh, I, i don't think everybody would be prejudiced about uh, the kashmir uh, thing you know um because they used to have films before like kashmir ki kali and uh, uh, jangli and so many most of shami shami ji's films mm-hmm. shami kapoor's films and uh, many films in back in the days i think in the 60s i'm back in their days mm-hmm. or 60s 70s 80s still up to 80s then 90s that just fell down but uh, yeah i can I, i i understand one thing that even though the films were based in kashmir shot in kashmir they were not about kashmiri people mm-hmm. and then later on uh, yeah there were films which would show kashmiris like militancy and all that that kind of stuff mm-hmm. and uh, i think uh, a couple of films where you know they even try to show brotherhood and uh, i think haider was one film which showed the reality a lot you know uh, you know quite seriousness of uh, and uh, very well uh, adaptation of uh, hamlet mm-hmm. to kashmir by uh, vishal bharadwaj and that was amazing thing but uh, i think also we should have I, i i'm looking at it like you know from the point of view of a person who has nothing to do with politics maybe you know maybe for people like you know for the chai wala who is going to give you chai and uska kaam wo ye ke ghar ko ja ke usko paise dena hai aur ya to student hai उसके टेंशन वही है कि जाके उसको पास होना एग्जाम और या तो ही टू प्रपोज टू अ गर्ल और समथिंग लाइक दैट यू नो देयर टेंशंस आर डिफरेंट देयर प्रॉब्लम्स आर डिफरेंट वेरी ट्रू या सो मेनी आर अ पॉलिटिकल टू सो आई आई वाज थिंकिंग मोर ऑन दैट काइंड ऑफ यू नो लेवल वे शोइंग एवरीडे पीपल नॉर्मल सी यू नो उस हैव यू आल्सो डिड सम सीरीज व्हाइल यू आर बेस्ड इन बेंगलोर व्हाट वाज दैट सीरीज अबाउट it was uh, like i said it was uh, during the covid i mean just before covid we were working on the series called bajao which i had written myself okay. and i also was acting in it and uh, we had shot a couple of episodes but then what happened covid happened and then after that i had to go to dubai and in india i think there were back to back lockdowns mm-hmm. and dubai was normal and then one day i come back and i and i hear a couple of unfortunately i lost a couple of our cast members you know yeah so um, and and it was a very sad thing and uh, and then i went through some personal problems my mother's health and then i lost my mother so i was uh, not in that uh, frame of mind to continue that it was an out and out comedy series called bajao in our own uh, dakini dialect okay. of bangalore you know it's a very humorous dialect mm-hmm. and uh, it's not that like you know dakini has been used in films before like mahmood saab you know amita bachchan even shahrukh khan mm-hmm. you know in film he acted as a dakini character yeah. so it it's happened in the past but uh, but that was mostly hyderabadi dakini dialect it's hindi everybody can understand koi koi aisa wahan pe na jo catchy koi dialogue tha aapka bajao mein because you also acted in that to koi aisa कैची डायलॉग्स तो बहुत से हैं उसमें लेकिन उसमें मोस्टली कैरेक्टर नेम्स इन दैट वेरी फनी वी हैव अ बुचर इन दैट कैरेक्टर उसको खतरनाक खलील खतरनाक खलील हाँ एंड आई प्लेड वन कैरेक्टर नेम इज फरीद शेख बट पीपल कॉल इम फ्रॉड फरीद चार सौ बीस कैरेक्टर यू नो so we had some funny characters like this and uh, you had one uh, just for the viewers you know just to understand the dakni dialect yeah kaisa tha wo ab kya bolna tum na hamara dialect wise such ye hamari zuban hame aisa baat karti so so i think everybody understands this so uh, you know there are some words in, but there are some words in bangalorean dakni Like you know, somebody talks something nonsense. Hey, Bilal, ye baat na karna ko dil se. 
ना बेकार की बातें मत करो लाइक समटाइम्स इन हैदराबाद जैसे बैंगन की बातें मत नको करो दिल से तो इट्स लाइक दैट यू नो वी हैव सम फनी यू नो वे ऑफ यू नो डिस्कशिंग या सो इन लाइक यू नो देर इज वन सीन वेर वन अफ्रीकन गाय who's a president of one african country he comes he's invited to a lunch mm-hmm. and he starts smelling the food so there's this guy who says ine admi ki kutta kya kar raha soi nagar okay <laughs> yeah. so it's like that and, and with, with, with with the expressions huh? yeah yeah and this guy uh, farid sheikh he's the honorary consul of an african uh, republic a fictitious country okay so when his uh, servant man his man friday goes to the butcher shop and he talks about farid sab so he says kon re tera boss ne fraud farid ki karke to sir fraud nahi you know honorary council aur wo to apne khud ke gali ka councilor banya nahi kaun se ki muluk ka councilor banta hone you know that just the way they they speak you know mm-hmm. this is uh, <laughs> you know what should i say it's it's, it's in seeing that okay so maybe inshallah we would uh, i would like to revive that project yeah. so so going to the black book book media yeah private limited so you do uh, it's not a private limited but in it dubai is. it's a it's an llc free zone company and okay. uh, based in dubai so we me and prateya when we were there and uh-huh. then our shahid bhai uh-huh. uh, shahid haider who uh, who's uh, from kashmir it's a okay. he's our cto so we formed this company black book media and uh, we made it we we said chalo ke yaar dubai mein there is a lot of scope for us to mm-hmm. do a lot of work there's so much of talent we make uh, corporate videos we do ad films we make music videos so we do all of that stuff and but films are our passion and that's going to be our you know primary focus so most of you guys come from diverse fields so uh, when you all you know sit together is film the first uh, topic to discuss yeah absolutely we eat breathe and uh, what do you say drink films <laughs> okay so films of course so we are all film uh, we, we, we love films and that's what connected us mm-hmm. and uh, of course uh, pratyek and me are you know i i started my career with uh, shaja television mm-hmm. as a copywriter then i worked with shaja uh, made some series over there wrote, wrote some series over there and then was with the um, and then uh, i was also associated with uh, shahid bhai and then we uh, like he comes from an IT background so he's the CTO he looks after the all the technical mm-hmm. aspects of you know black book media and then of course we have people like abhishek sarvanan who is who was uh, a part of uh, may mehmood mm-hmm. he was a cinematographer so uh, he's not only the cinematographer he was also the editor see uh, uh, coming to may mehmood again it was a film which was shot in 2 days oh. and the day after the second day they left back to india mm-hmm. so we had very less time to do a lot of things okay and uh, touch wood uh, it was uh, pretty good so know. one thing uh, which i ask mostly to most of the filmmakers is how important is story for a film is it just the story or is it the technical part of the film also everything i think everything everything story yes of course i feel i feel as a storyteller that the story is the ruh the spirit of the film uh, if the story if the ruh is I, i think you described it very well the ruh yes yes the rest everything is the body of that so without the ruh it's just a body but then again mm-hmm. sirf ruh dal ke bhi usko chalana bhi hai na so to wo chalana wagaira sab that's a director's job and you know everything so i feel everything is you can't take one from uh, and you know work with the others everything is equally needed mm-hmm. it's always a team work in a film so like if you have seen the cinematography i told you uh, pratyas direction and uh, the even the music amazing so who did the music for the film uh it, it was a person called uh, kartik bhandare mm-hmm. so he is a uh, uh, very uh, what do you say a great talent you mm-hmm. know a talent powerhouse so he made this amazing composition for mai mahmood the theme of it So talking about the collaborations you mentioned uh, what are you planning for you know kashmir like you know you you are now in kashmir study different things and you must be also getting a lot of stories in your head yes. to explore 
uh, are there uh, any any people you know involved or in touch who will be part of the collaboration uh, well actually because see shahid bhai is from here and um, a lot of people over here whom i know i would definitely would want them to be involved in this more yesterday actually yesterday we went to this cafe in um, in uh, lal chowk mm-hmm. and it was amazing to see youngsters coming there you know having a good time so i if if, if i make a story it would be basically on the youngsters and then of course you know the other characters also but i would want to focus it on the youngsters what would they be you know what's going on in their mind and i think youngsters are most uh, uh, you know the ones with the energy the kind of energy and the enthusiasm they have especially the college going kids you know mm. so probably maybe on that something but yes it has to be a really st- super strong script mm-hmm. so i don't like i said i don't mind collaborating with someone over here someone local so uh, we are looking at a couple of options inshallah mm-hmm. so if there is anybody if somebody who has a good script or something they can feel free to you know contact us we can look into that and maybe work together oh ji bahut se aise projects aapne kiye hain aur main mahmood mujhe lagta hai ki aapke dil ke kareeb bhi hai aur iske bare mein bataye aur aapke kuch aur bhi projects hain unke bare mein bataye ji bilkul aisa hai ki main mahmood abhi it's about ek ek shakhs hai wo jo immigrant hai jisko angrezi nahi aati aur dubai mein wo apna ek middle aged aadmi और वो वो अपने फैमिली को और अपने काम को हर चीज़ को बचा के रखना चाहता है और एक मैं महमूद का एक मैसेज है कि एक ज़बान एक अंग्रेज़ी ज़बान को इतना मज़ीद चढ़ा के क्यों ये अहमियत देते हैं लोग हालांकि वो कई ज़बानों में एक ज़बान है एंड बट माशा मैं महमूद प्रीमियर उसकी प्रीमियर इट हैपन इन इफ्सा इफ्सा टोरटो which is the largest uh, south asian film festival in north america mm-hmm. and then immediately after that we uh, premiered in us us premiere was uh, at uh, um, chicago film festival which is the largest uh, south asian film festival in usa mm-hmm. so uh, and then after that many festivals we did and uh, mashallah and we won awards at dc film festival for the best story mm-hmm. which pratya saha and uh, of course uh, in uh, river to river italy we got the uh, best film best short film award okay. and we won multiple awards in kolkata international film festival at jaipur so uh, and also been f- uh, screened right now in uh, going to be screened on 4th uh, at uh, kerala international film festival so uh, it has done very good Mm-hmm. in terms of um, you know making an impact in uh, festivals and how how do you feel being a protagonist of the film <laughs> i never uh, imagined to be a protagonist of any film but uh, i think this story needed to be told mm-hmm. and um, if it, it had to be me to be the protagonist it had to be me honestly speaking i mary um, my first language is english mm-hmm. i dream in english i think in english and mahmood is a person who doesn't speak english mm. you know and mahmood is uh, uh, you know a very introverted guy and aapko pata chal gaya hoga ab tak main kitna extroverted hu main baat karna shuru kiya to phir uska koi you know ant nahi hai to to mahmood ko main feel karna tha to i had to recall all the people i met mm-hmm. chahe wo you know abra mein ho wo kashti mein ho jahan pe wo dubai ke ek एंड से दूसरे एंड को जाते थे तो वहाँ पे कई कई लोग आते थे वर्किंग क्लास पीपल अच्छा। और शेयरिंग टैक्सीज में तो इन सब जगहों में मैं लोगों को देख के महसूस करके बट आई डेंट आई वाज टोल्ड डोंट एक्ट जस्ट बी योर सेल्फ एंड आई आई डिड जस्ट दैट तो इट फील्स गुड इट फील्स गुड दैट यू नो योर वर्क इज बींग अप्रिशिएटेड तो बहुत अच्छा लगता है आपके uh, कुछ ऐसे प्रोजेक्ट्स हैं जिसमें जैसे बजाओ आपका uh, जो प्रोजेक्ट रहा है सीरीज जी, रहा जी, है जी, जी, जी. तो उसमें आपका कहना है कि बहुत अच्छा काम भी हुआ उसमें और उस उसके कुछ डायलॉग्स आपको जो अभी तक आपको याद है कि नहीं हाँ वो भी दखनी वाले इसमें लहजे में और डायलेक्ट में हाँ उसमें ऐसे बात करते हैं जैसे कि अभी एक ये है कि वो एक 
एक जनरल है वो खाना सुनता रहता है सुनता है उसमें एक सीन में स्मेलिंग द फूड तो उधर खड़ा एक आदमी बोलते हैं इन्हें आदमी का बच्चा की कुत्ते का बच्चा करके इन आदमी की इंसान की कुत्ता की नहीं तो ऐसा है और एक रहते कि क्या रे तेरा बॉस उन्हें गली का काउंसलर बन यानी कौन से कि मुल्क का काउंसलर बनता उन्हें ऐसी बात है और उसमें वो होता है भाई जाओ भाई मंजे नको भाई भाई जा तू मेरे काम आ छोड़ डाल को ऐसे यू नो यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस इज द अर दखनी इट्स अ ब्यूटीफुल लैंग्वेज इट हैज इट्स ह्यूमर एंड तो उसमें थोड़े वो वो वैसे सीन्स हैं और थोड़े वैसे डायलॉग्स हैं और उसमें ऐसा भी है कि वो एक बुचर है वो लड़की को देख के वो आता है ऑफिस में और वहाँ पे रिसेप्शन इसको देख के वो सीधा शाहरुख खान बन जाता है और वो दे सिमरन कहते हैं वो देख के होते हैं हम नॉट सिमरन बोलते हैं माई नेम इज़ नॉट सिमरन बोलती है तो दीज आर सम डायलॉग्स ऑफ दैट सीरीज तो दैट इज़ अबाउट बजाओ तो हमारे कुछ दोस्त लोग हमारे हमारे नाजरीन अगर मैं महमूद देखना चाहे तो आपने फिल्म ये रिलीज हुई है इसका क्या स्टेटस है इन शाला अभी हम लोग बातचीत चल रही है कई ओ टी से so we uh, we will be releasing it soon in one very popular OTT mm-hmm. inshallah pretty soon and any other projects that you are taking up uh, in uh, Dubai or yeah, yeah of elsewhere? course the whole uh, idea behind Black Book Media was to do work in Dubai so right now I have uh, I worked on I completed a script called Black mm-hmm. it's a supernatural thriller it's not the ghost story or something like that but you can call it horror but it's a mystery thriller Mm-hmm. so uh, it's called black and no, that's the working title so wo abhi hum uh, log us pe kaam chal raha hai script ho gaya hai abhi uska next and most probably udhar mein i have also tied up with uh, a nimarati uh, filmmaker mm-hmm. her name is metha metha lawadi mm-hmm. so uh, she is also an amazing director basic filmmaker so we have pratya saha who is also an excellent filmmaker and uh, so we hope to do some multiple projects like this also written i'm writing on i'm writing a, a historical fiction uh you know in a semi historical but fiction fantasy uh-huh. and science fiction in one okay so yeah it's about a sailor from uae and uh, you know his adventures okay so that's another one and uh, <clears throat> also uh, writing a couple of scripts different let's see which one uh, will we start off with uh, inshallah so if somebody wants to see this uh, mai mahmood yeah mai mahmood is not yet released for the public general public okay. we are still doing you see uh, mashallah we are still doing uh, uh, many uh, film festivals right now see we just uh, finished one more in kolkata uh, the uh, film federation of india mm-hmm. they are uh, festival and uh, we are now we um, the 4th of august we are being screened in kerala Mm-hmm. Kerala International Film Festival, and then again in Madrid, the one in Greece. So there's still a couple of festivals. So we can't release it till it's not, you know, uh, uh, you know, we do this festival. But maybe we would, we would like to do it in the future. Maybe in the near future. I'm in talks with one uh, very popular Pakistani filmmaker. Mm-hmm. So we have thought of this idea. Why don't we join forces, you know, Indian and Pakistani filmmakers? and make something in uae okay. which will have indian actors pakistani actors give something new to people you know Achha. yeah beyond Achha. borders uh. exactly jaisa aap soch rahe bilkul waisa hi beyond borders make something far packed thing we yeah, have everybody wants to watch each others now hum log dekhte hain yahan pe to pakistani series dekhte hain drama dekhte hain wahan pe indian filme dekhte hain kyun na milke udhar kare yahan pe nahi hota to wahan pe kare hum uh-huh. so that's that's what we have thought let's see where it what goes what is the status on that sorry you, what is the status on that you're still in talks or yeah yeah i'm talks uh, with that filmmaker and we we just had a meeting and he loved this idea of mine and he said he loved it and he said sure we could do that and uh, we're looking forward to start and uh, उसके लिए भी एक स्क्रिप्ट होना है उनके पास कई कुछ स्क्रिप्ट्स हैं मेरे पास कुछ स्क्रिप्ट्स हैं देखेंगे कुछ क्या होता है अभी यू नो इन द फ्यूचर होपफुली या वी विश यू ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर दैट थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच वन लास्ट क्वेश्चन मैं महमूद इज आल्सो यू नो सेंटर्ड ऑन लैंग्वेज यस और आपने आप आप आपके आपका कहना है कि आप पिछले कई सालों से कश्मीर आ रहे हैं सो आर यू एबल टू पिक अप इन समथिंग इन कश्मीरी little bit a few words jaise uh 
no, I, I know those uh, numbers like, you know, I think Ak, Zu, Tre, oh, Tra, Tre, Tre, and the uh, Tsur, uh -huh. like this, I know a little bit. Uh -huh. And then uh, that uh, that Nazanin song also. Oh, it's a uh, uh, can, can you can you sing that song? No, 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 I can't. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. Uh, uh, no, no, just a little bit like Nazanin. Uh, I don't know the lyrics. I mean, I really. Uh, <laughs> it's it's I, I, I'll be making a fool of myself. Uh, you can, you can just that. try. Huh? Uh, Nazanin, yar mane ki chomulakat. तो नाजनीन यार मैं नीच मुलाकात इसी बात पे हम उजायर भाई से रुखसत लेते हैं। He has been working on few projects और मैं महमूद आप अगर सर्च भी करें तो ये फिल्म this film has done really remarkably well so far in the film festivals and also this film is based on a very important subject and a very important theme which is of longing and language and uh, I think filmmakers, film lovers, film buffs should watch this film. So that up uh, Pleasure is all mine. Thank and you, wish you all the best for your next. Thank you, thank you.